Katie Boulder beats Karolina Pliskova at Eastbourne for career best win. Ryan Peniston knocks Holger Rune out. Karolina Pliskova goes down as the biggest scalp of Katie Boulter's career, with the British number 4 beating a top 10 opponent for the first time. Ryan Peniston continues she's brilliant few weeks by beating French Open quarter finalist Holger Rune at the Rothesay International Eastbourne. British number 4 Katie Boulter roared back from almost suffering a first set bagel to dump out last year's Wimbledon finalist Karolina Pliskova in the second round of the Rothesay International Eastbourne. The 25-year-old trailed 5-0 inside half an hour to the world number 7 but after she got on the board kept with the check before she got the center. Court crowd off their feet on a number of occasions during a dramatic second and third set. Sponsored link. Fed governor calls for another 75 basis points hike in July. Nikkei Asia. Recommended by. Bolter was able to take 5 of her 19 breakpoint opportunities to secure a 1-6-6-4-6-4 win and continue her great form after she claimed a previous career best scalp over Alison Risque in Birmingham last week. Dart, Burridge progress in Eastbourne, Watson knocked out. Get Sky Sports, download the Sky Sports app iNews in brief. A gutsy victory over Teresa Martinkova on Sunday meant the home favorite walked out for her ninth match on grass this summer and while she faced a formidable opponent, Pliskova had admitted to not feeling 100% back to her best ahead of the match. The concerns of the two-time Grand Slam finalist seemed unfounded after she broke Bolter twice early on but the Brit continued to create break points in earned warm applause after avoiding a whitewash. It boosted Bolter who continued to make chances on Pliskova's serve and eventually started to take them in the second set to level up the scores. Four consecutive double faults by the former world number one aided Bolter's cause in the decider but she was immediately broken back to leave the set. Finally poise. Twitter. Due to your consent preferences, you're not able to view this. Privacy options. Having let a 4-2 lead slip, Bolter remained focused and a fine return gave her the chance to serve out the victory. A first match point was saved but, after a superb cross-court winner set up a second, this one was not wasted to give Bolter the best result of her career. That gave me goosebumps, so thank you so much, Boulder said on court when asked about the atmosphere at Devonshire Park. I am super proud of myself. I went out, didn't feel great and worked so hard to get out there. I battled and fought and to beat a player like that means so. Nori looking forward to home comforts as Wimbledon approaches. A year in the life of Emma Raducanu. Bolter's triumph made it 2 from 2 for the British players on centre court after Ryan Peniston continued his brilliant few weeks with a 4, 6, 7, 6, 5, 6, 1. Success over French Open quarter finalist Holger Rune. A close opener went the way of the teenager after he decisively broke in the 10th game, but the informed Peniston stuck with his highly rated rival and edged a tiebreaker to earn thunderous applause from the crowd. Rune lost his composure at the beginning of the decider when Peniston produced a wonderful return to a volley at the back of the court to take his first break point. The Dane smashed a tennis ball out of the court before he whacked his racket against a towel bin to earn himself a warning. Even though Rune did break back instantly, Peniston stayed composed and secured another break before he closed out this latest impressive result. He said on court, I am very, very happy with that tough start but managed to fight thanks to you guys. It has been madness to be honest. A couple of weeks ago things were a lot different but now things have changed and I am loving it. Don't forget to follow us on skysports.com slash tennis, our Twitter account at skysportstennis. iPad and Android.